Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So today I would like to announce a brand new contest. Uh, we just recently did a contest uh, about a month ago, which was the bad paint job contest. With that one, only four people entered. It wasn't you know broadcast on YouTube. It was actually just within the Discord and on Twitter. But ultimately, only four people entered, and I gave away a Ecopla re. Constitution, I think it was called, Recirculation Color RX 78-2 Ecopla. So a pretty big rare kit that's only exclusive to Japan right now. Um, one of the winners of four got that prize. So I'm really hoping that I can possibly get some more people to enter into this particular contest and I can actually broaden out the prize pool. But let me go ahead and explain what this contest is. Now what this contest is called is the age wear contest, which is basically going to revolve around putting customizable wares on your Gundam age mobile suit. So there's not gonna be a full cannon suit that you can use. You cannot use just a straight up Gundam age one normal. You can't use an age one Titus, a Spalo. You could do something with those parts to make something more unique, but this is going to be a 100% original mobile suit that you're gonna to have to make. So the contest is gonna run from September 15th to October 15th. Basically that's going to be the start and the end dates. Now let's go on and get into the rules. Now to go over the rules, well like I said, you're gonna be using the age mobile suits to be the core body part of the wares. So let's say for example, the age one. The age one has basically the normal body. It doesn't have any wares on it as of right now, but you can use the regular, you can use any clear versions, you can use titanium versions, uh, any limited editions of that core body that is, it's pretty much fine, but you have to use all the parts that you're seeing right now in the video. Now, you can also go and use the advanced grade, the SD, the HG, the MG, or even the mega size. I, I do not mind whichever one you wanna use but you have to use parts from other things. I'm not even gonna limit to Bandai if you wanna use Kotobukiya, you wanna use um, Hasegawa, I, I don't care. As long as it's basically parts that are limbs, it cannot be like, turns into a spaceship, unless it is a transformable type, then it can go into an alt mode like the H2, which we'll talk about, but basically it has to be limbs. Now also for the age one, you can use the age one flat, which is just going to have the age uh, core part removed and then the, type, the top of the camera for the eyes and then the uh, head sensor, that is going to be yellow. And then the age one unit two, that's basically going to be the more light bluish uh, age one. And that is actually gonna be a flat. So once again, you're gonna have that uh, age core removed. It's just gonna be a flat piece with the unit two color scheme. And you can also use the body of the Adele if you wanna use any custom wares. Now for the age two, you're gonna have the main body. This is what you see in the video. Now you can, once again, use any clear, you can use any uh, titanium finishes for the high grade, but there is the SD that you can use, as well as the MG. Now you can also use the H2 special version, or the, the Wolf version, basically the all white uh, age body. Since it is still compatible with the wear system, it is eligible for this contest. And then also the H2 Dark Hound, that is also eligible. Now for, the H now for the H3, there's really just that, just the H3. So you can use that, they do have the SD, they also have a clear color, as well as a titanium finish of the HD if you really wanna use those, but this is gonna be the body for the H3. Now for the HFX, I'm actually gonna allow this one, but you cannot use the funnel set. The C funnels that come with it are omitted. Uh, you can still use the regular rifle that comes with it or the bazooka, uh, but you have to basically add something to it. You can't take away from the core body as is. Uh, you're pretty much gonna have to add something else. Uh, but for the rifle, the weapon in general, you don't have to use it. You can use a custom weapon if you want. So instead, you can make a different type of funnel set or you can make this more of a ground-sided HFX, whatever you really want. Now to enter this contest, 
you're just gonna have to at me on Twitter, so at the Krosama, and then you're gonna put the hashtag agewear contest, and then just kind of post a pic of, you know, maybe something that's already out of the box, uh, maybe it's just the boxes themselves. That's fine, and I'm gonna take a screenshot of that, you know, mention, and I'll put that into a folder so that way I have everyone's username uh, from Twitter. Uh, but that's just basically kind of like clicking you into the contest and I can kind of keep track of everyone who's going to be entering. Um, I'm not going to allow any pre-built and already, um, like not, pre-built's fine if it's out of the box with nothing added to it, nothing crazy. But if it's already modded, it's already painted or is used in a different contest, uh, I'm basically just going to say no. Uh, I don't think that's really fair uh, since everyone's going to be like building and painting and stuff. Now you can also come into the Discord because we do have a channel that's dedicated for this contest. So come in there and you can definitely chat it up, show all your work in progress. Um, even though like you're kind of chatting with your competition, I always feel it's really good to you know be involved with the competition to understand like what they're doing. But not only that, everyone's not really taking this like super seriously. It's a good fun contest that does have a prize, uh, but they're gonna help you no one's just gonna say like hey figure it out on your own if you need help with tutorials if you need help like learning how to remove seam lines um, maybe help with appreciating airbrushing detail painting not only I will help you but everyone else in that discord will so I'll definitely drop the discord uh, channel link into uh, the, the description or probably just in the comment section so you go ahead and uh, add yourself there so about the prize Right now, I don't have a prize selected because I don't know how many people is going to be entering. If it's only two people entering, I might just get like a high grade and that's about it. If I have 10 people enter, it's like, oh, I might get a, a lower class uh, MG. If it's like 15, 20, maybe even 30 people, I might do a you know first place prize and a second place prize. That's going to be something that's very limited and exclusive out here in Japan. But I definitely would like your feedback on what kind of prize would be really like optimal for this. But that's it for me guys, so thank you all very much. Uh, there's probably gonna be a lot of questions on can you do this, can you do that, what about this? Uh, I would say if you can, you can ask them here in the, this channel or you know on this video, uh, but definitely ask on Twitter by mentioning me so that way more people can kind of view it. Uh, but I mean here's fine because people are gonna be going through the comment section anyways uh, But whether it's discord it's on Twitter here definitely ask the question if you do have one uh, But other than that, thank you all for watching I hope you do enter because it's just really fun to build some age kits in my opinion I'm gonna be participating as well, uh, but that's pretty much it for me. Thank y'all for watching and uh, I'll be seeing you on the contest Bye